Welcome back everyone. Today I'm searching for the elusive placer gravels of northern Ontario. They only exist in one or two places according to the records and uh, I think I'm in one of them. This is the Vermilion River system uh, or a part of it and not far from here there's been a lot of testing over the years that go back into the late 1800s about them testing uh, river benches and real placer gravels here and I've come up upon come upon this place and you can clearly see it's, it's a full bench full of river gravels rounded rocks and then the smaller rocks inside possibly somebody's been here already look at perfectly round river rocks certainly looks like uh, potential for placer gold so I'm gonna test here see how it is and uh, perhaps move, move along to some different locations depending on uh, how it turns out so stick with me okay this looks like some fresh untouched gravels here so I'm gonna dig in here Yeah, I'm just going after the very, very fine material at first here and see if there's any black sands or anything or any signs of the possibility of there being any placer gold in here. Okay, that should be enough for our first test pan. So let's go pan that out and see if there's any hope over here. I have one little spot of gold in my pan. I can't believe it. We just gotta wait for this big train to go by. Okay, so in my first pan, I found a lot of heavy black sands and actually one little speck of gold. It's right there. The deeper the better for these test holes because I read that some mining companies who are doing testing in this area are going down 40, 60 feet in the placer for testing. Okay, well, let's see what this one has. Now oh, that's a good pan. You can see that it almost looks like somebody carved out a little panning station here for me. And there is signs of people digging on this bank.
Okay, we're down to black sand pretty much. Let me just show you all the black sand that's in there. This time, I didn't get a speck of gold. Lots of black sand. I'm an impatient panner. I pan awfully fast. I want to see what there is as soon as possible, even though that's obviously not the best way to do it. Okay, only black sand. So what does that tell me? Not a whole lot. The first hole had one speck of gold, and the second pan in that same hole had just black sand. So I moved a few meters to the left, and still only black sand. So still throwing darts at a dartboard. So let's go throw another dart. Once again, only black sands. Got to find another spot. Well, there's the holes I've been digging. But the deeper I go, um, really nothing changes. Quite a bit of black sand. And I think I'm going to change locations right now. Okay, one last thing I want to do before I leave today is I did some research. And I don't know, about 30 years ago, there's some uh, information on some test pits that they dug for placers in this area. We're nowhere near the water here, but you can still see it's all river rock. I'm going to take myself a sample home today, and or I could stop along a river on the way back, run it and see, see if it's any better. Take a look at this material. You can see it's... You can see that it is gravel, just natural gravel. So I'm going to take a, about a five gallon pail of this and uh, see what's in it. Got to be careful of the bees though. There's a big bees nest down there and they're flying around and they're angry. Okay, that should be a pretty good sample. I'll run that and I'll let you know how it turns out. Okay, so I'll just keep running that till I'm finished and then I'll take the concentrates home and I'll pan them out and there I'll be able to show you whether there was anything in that uh, test sample from that pit. Wow, those mats are really loaded. So all we got left is the concentrates and we'll pan those out at home. Okay, so I got my concentrates at home finally. I decided I'd run it through the gold tube just in case I miss anything that's really fine. The gold tube is really good at catching very fine material. Look at all the black sand in there. That's a lot of black sand. Okay, look at all that black sand. Let's see if I can fan it out. So thick. Yep, there's a little piece of gold right there. Right there. Can you see that? I said by beside my fingers, there's two pieces of gold right there. 
Oh, there's another piece just popped out of the black sand. See those two? One, two. There, I was able to redistribute the black sands a little bit more. And there, one, two, three pieces, four pieces, five, six. There's a whole bunch of little pieces in there. Okay, so that's a, that's a pretty impressive result. I was just, that was from that pit that's got to be about 10 kilometers from the Vermilion River. It was just gravel in the forest. And there is gold in it. And there's a lot of material there. So that confirms it. That was, that was, uh, that was surprising. A lot of people wonder whether there's placer gravels in Northern Ontario. And I can tell you, yes, there are. See you next time.